he says it smells like wet dog, which I think is less offensive than rotten garbage. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, привет, welcome. I'm Elena. I'm a Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually review and do tutorials of all affordable, inexpensive makeup from drugstore and various websites, AliExpress, Walmart. Sometimes I go bougie, but not that often. So in this video, I'm doing a tutorial, not a review, of this look, green and purple. I was asked by a couple of my subscribers. Uh, this is a look for my uh, palette collection video. So I'm doing this with XX Revolution palette by XX Revolution brand, obviously. This is extravaganza, of course. It's beautiful. It's everything. And we're doing this look with jewels and the whole shebang. A little upgraded from my old video. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Help me out. Let's be friends. Let's talk. I upload every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday. And ring the notification bell so YouTube notifies you every time I upload. Like this video if you enjoy it and leave me a comment. Let's get right into this tutorial. Before we get into the tutorial, I just want to say a couple of words. I'm looking at my comments from my collection, makeup collection, palette collection video. And uh, the girls that asked me, the first one was Wanda. Uh, I believe I pronounced your name correctly. And the second one was Katrina. And then, of course, Teresa, my friend, she was like, oh, green and purple. I'm like, okay, I'll do this tutorial. I'm not one of the big YouTubers that are gonna brush off the comments and say, ah, girl, I ain't got time for it. Uh, first of all, it's not nice. Secondly, I'm small. I read all comments. Uh, I respond to all comments. I love this. I love the community. I love the friendship. I like to talk to you guys. I like to respond. I really enjoy the communication. So I really enjoy when you watch the whole video and give me, uh, help me with the watch time. <laughs> I'm trying to get monetized here. Anyway, so this tutorial is for you guys that you asked for it. And I'm going to be doing a, a full in-depth tutorial. Uh, I might fast forward some parts, but it's going to be mostly, it's going to be long. Because I wanted to really go step by step without really skipping anything, you know. And I'll do most of it, almost all on camera, except for the eyelashes and mascara. So you're going to see everything, how it's done. So, with the jewels and the whole bit. So, before we go on, I want to give a shout out uh, to lovely Christina Collins. Christina Collins is a UK based YouTuber. She's my friend. She is a patron of the Patreon group of Make Me Up Missa. Missa. Missa Ross is awesome. She's another YouTuber. She's bigger than us. She's freaking amazing. If you don't follow her yet, go check her out. I'm going to link both of these channels in my description box. But Chrissy is the one I really want to talk about. She does uh, mostly hauls and looks of Revolution Beauty. Most of it is a revolution. I live for Makeup Revolution, so I love watching her videos. And she's a friend. We never met in real life, but we met through the group and we've been chatting and we did we did do a collab, sort of a collab, uh, without being in the same room, of course. So please check her out. Give her a subscriber, another subscriber count. Uh, she's almost at 1,000. She's very close. She's like 700 something. I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes out, she's going to be close to 800. So if you haven't subscribed to her yet, please check her out. She's very sweet. She's amazing. Uh, she has a beautiful demeanor. Like I love everything about her. Like I'm really pa passionate about my friends. So go check her out and help her out with subscribe account. Well, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> now we're gonna go on to the tutorial. Okay, let's get into the tutorial. Uh, since a couple of people asked, and I like the look myself, so let's do this. So first things first. Uh, the way I'm gonna do my makeup, the way I do my makeup, it's not the way you have to do your makeup because we have different eye shapes, different eyeball placement. My eyeballs are deep in, so I have really deep grease. Somebody might have a different problem, but this kind of look with a, like a really fake cut grease, I think it's gonna look uh, good on anyone. Uh, 
Uh, if you have hooded eyes, this is going to be very flattering for you as well. So the brushes I'm using are going to be all cheap, inexpensive brushes. These are Elf J Kissa, and also I'm going to be using some brushes from uh, OxyCharm I received. And never heard before lavish brushes. Um, it doesn't matter really what brushes you use, as long as they have similar shape and similar purpose. So, like this, for example, is a sort of a pencil brush. It, this one is uh, called what does it say? J4. It's just a number for J Kesa, but this is like good for the outer corner. This fluffier brush is good for crease blending. So this one says tapered blending, that's exactly what it is. And this one, the real large one that I use from J Kissa, this one is J3. This one is good for blending out, like I have the highlight here and I have a lighter purple shade. So at the end, I want to smoosh it, Teresa. It's your word, my friend Teresa likes to call it smoosh it. So smoosh them together, <laughs> which means blend all the colors together. So this is good for that. Uh, a real small brush like this, it's a smaller pencil brush, I would say. Um, good for the highlighting, the brow bone, inner corner. Any brand will have some like this. Also, the flat brush, any flat brush that's really, really skinny. This was a cheap brush. I don't even know where it came from because it has this kind of thing in the end. So, I don't know. But I like this for the crease, cut crease. And this kind of brush, it says eye shading. So I would use this for either uh, a low lash line or any small spots that you have because it's very narrow. So you can get in here. Um, what else? Something like this. Again, very similar. So this is from Elf JK Set J1. This one I use for the low lash line again too. Ooh, got some my eyeball. <laughs> so that's good for that. And just talking about the brushes before we start. And this is the Morphe unnamed brush from the Morphe uh, vegan synthetic set. Uh, just a typical flat brush. This is a little thicker, so I don't like this one for cut crease. I use it pick up to pick up any shimmers and metallics. So this is good for that. And this is the brush I've used, I used actually for purple, JKC J2. It's kind of a, a crease brush, but it's not rounded. It's like flat on each side, one side. So kind of easy to get in here and blend it out at the same time. It's really good for that. And of course, the real skinny brush for the detail liners. You know, this bright neon line came from this brush. And sometimes I use the angle brush for certain things like this. This is a pencil brush for like an eyeliner, um, eyeliner brush or the brow. But I like to use this for some little small details if I cannot get into the inner corner and I get it a little brighter. Sometimes I use it for that or sometimes I use it to brighten up the black. So you can use all kind of things. So now that we discussed the brushes I'm going to use, we can get into the actual tutorial. So the palette I'm using, as you saw it in a thumbnail and everything, so this is my uh, current favorite rainbow palette. Extra shades, extra color, extravaganza, eleganza. <laughs> so this is XX Revolution. Amazing, amazing palette, love it. So the only thing is it does have fallout and I have full face of makeup, except for the highlighter. I notice when I start with a highlighter on, I usually try to wipe off uh, the fallout and the highlighter gets wiped out. So I decided to leave the highlighter off and do it later after I do the eyeshadow. But we're going to be working with the purples here. It's going to be hard to lift this up the whole time. So I'm going to show you now the purple, the lighter purple, and the lightest purple is going to be for this side, outer side. For inside, I'm going to use the matte green and this matte green. They have no names. No numbers, they're just there. They're there. <laughs> so this green is kind of mix them together. It creates like a real nice lime green. And for the shimmers, I'm using this green here, the shimmer, and this shimmer. So this one's a little cooler tone shimmer, this one's warmer. So mix them together and creates more of like the one I have on the main lid. It's more of a 
uh, like a lime green, like I like that warm tone. Uh, what else I'm highlighting with this? I'm probably still gonna show you, but I'm just I'm just talking. <laughs> and I added a little bit of blue for the transition here, a blue shimmer. So I use this for the blue transition between the purple and the green. And the purple shimmer here, this one on the outer corner, so it's kind of like a gradual blend and it's really easy. And I used, of course, the black. The black has a lot of fallout, so I'm gonna tell you right off the bat. So set your eyes really well, the under eyes, if you've done your makeup. If you haven't done your makeup, then it's easier. You can do the makeup after that, but I've been back to my norm <laughs> doing my makeup, face makeup, first all right now that oh yeah the lips the lips though mm, you see that so i don't have a lot of colorful lipsticks i just don't i'm a neutral bh so all my lips are neutral so what i did the neutral lip any matte lipstick neutral will do and i use the shimmer pretty much on my finger and i use this angle brush to line the lips so you can't see any weird lines with the same shimmer and I used a little of matte pink in the middle and there you go you can't tell me it's not a lipstick <laughs> it's a lipstick now <laughs> so that's it so we're gonna get into it and I'm gonna start with black because black has fallout and mm, it doesn't stick well with the eyeshadow underneath it sort of does but I would prefer to black to really pop so I think I'm gonna start with black let me zoom in now that I talk for like five minutes, completely off the topic, and I'm shooting 4K, by the way. If you are the one person that asked me about my videos being crappy quality, oh girl, I made a big mistake. <laughs> the videos, the videos though, oh my God. I looked at my iMovie when I transferred the movie into the YouTubes. <laughs> it was set on 720p. I didn't do it. I did not do it. It did it itself. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm usually technologically uh, pretty good, like with technology, but when it comes to iMovie, and uh, I'm still struggling. I don't know. It did by itself, and it started to transfer everything to YouTube at a lower quality. And my camera is shooting in 4K, and it comes out to YouTube like a real crap quality. Oh my God. I don't know how many videos went like this until somebody actually pointed it out to me. I'm like, really? I'm an idiot. Oh well. Well now you're gonna see every freaking wrinkle a 45 year old has. Ooh. So all right, let me get away from the camera. <laughs> so going to black to that very pencil brush I was talking about, the Elf JK set. I got oh I've got ABH primer. Doesn't really matter. What I found uh, that's for my dry skin, I have pretty dry eyelids. Uh the primers like matte paint pot, uh they do the service. So they kind of crack and they're patchy. So I need something for me personally, creamier. This is creamy enough and it dries pretty well. It almost doesn't grease, maybe just a little bit right here, but it's very nice. I find this works just as good as Peel Away's base and just as good <laughs> as a concealer, just to be honest. But some people with the oily skin, uh, for them, the primer makes a difference for longevity. For me, it doesn't. So just a disclaimer. See, it's going to attach itself very well and it falls out. So now we place this and now it's going to be bright and not going anywhere. So I'm going to go in a little bit on the low lash line. I have a feeling it's going to be a long video because I want this to be a little more detailed tutorial. Usually I do those reviews, right? I review stuff and when I review in the palette, <laughs> it's not a real tutorial, it's a review. So, yeah, now I have a chance to really talk and talk I can <laughs> with my awful accent. <laughs> All right, so I blocked my uh, tattoo eyebrow, which was like here, and I placed it a little higher, just like to give that snatched effect. I w I've been really into that foxy eye look, so I snatch myself on a regular basis. <laughs> so uh, the key was black and not to get overboard, I might have got a little overboard, but it's fixable. So I'm going to take um, a JK set, this, the one I was talking about. 
they're kind of semi flat but it's a it's a crazy brush so i'm gonna go into the deeper purple matrix i showed you in the beginning and well if you wonder there it is right there and now i'm gonna play, place it right on top of black not above on top but the reason being if you place it above it's gonna be harder to blend you want to place it right on top and just a little bit above and now we can start blend so now the shades these two shades blend together much easier than if you just placed it above and try to kind of blend them together so i'm going about halfway through into my because we're going with green the other half and isn't it a lovely combo purple and green I think everybody loves purple and green. So when I did this look up for Instagram, and I, I think I filmed this video for my palette collection, and I went to Walmart grocery shopping that day, and that was my grocery shopping look. I'm the Walmart people. I'm the original Walmart people, the way you're doing full face. All right, so you see it blends out easy. So the eyeshadow quality, can, of course, makes a difference here. It's a really good quality eyeshadow. So now I pick up a little more. Just kind of stretch it. Pull it up. I'm not a big fan of tape. Some people like to put the tape if they do their face makeup later. I like to smoke out the look anyway. So what it happens when you do the tape, it creates a sharp line. But then you do face makeup later anyway and smoke out your low lash line. So it's like, I don't know, not here, not there for me. I like to like smudge it and make it smoky rather I'm not worried about all of that I uh, slip it with a brush big brush and hopefully I won't have to fix it with concealer later so now I'm cleaning it on a color switch if you don't know what color switch is you're missing out like me I just recently discovered this this is artsy brand from Amazon and it's pretty much like a Brillo pad. See, comes out. Uh, you wash it afterwards, so it's clean. So I pretty much wash my brushes and wash the color switch. Uh, now I'm going for the lighter purple. So I'm gonna go between lighter and lighter, all the way up. So blend this out with the same brush. That's what I like about this palette. It has that medium light tone each uh, color has different shades so it's really easy to blend out i'm holding the brush angled up instead of forward because i want to uh, kind of blow it out rather than just blend it on the spot because i still have ways to go to my new fake eyebrow <laughs> taking a lighter color it uh, depends how you hold the eyebrow brush if you hold the eye brush like this and go in circles, it can blend out the eyeshadow on the spot where it's at. So it's good for on-spot blending when you don't want to blow it out. But if you hold it at this angle like this, it's good to blow out the eyeshadow and make it spread out. If you already made a mistake and made your black too intense and too far out, I would say blend it out like this directly. If you want to spread out the shade, go out. It all makes sense. I didn't invent this. Other makeup artists did. I'm not a pro. <laughs> I'm just learning myself every day and I improve my skills by watching others. I love watching Robert Walsh. Uh, Robert Walsh actually was talking about this brush positioning and that was a good tip. If you don't know who Robert Walsh is, <laughs> you should really check him out. He's a pro MUA. All right, it's just a matter of blending here. So I've got quite a bit fallout, but you know, I'm just keeping it calm and collected. I'm gonna do this later. And here's another trick. So if you brush it off, and I use a little bit of a sponge like this, just triangle after I brush it off, if I still see a little bit something, something, I use my concealer sponge, the one I used for, or a foundation sponge, with a little bit of concealer products and I kind of tap it on and it's gonna remove everything works 
or you just do your base later <laughs> like normal people okay so i'm going to green so this is where it gets interesting because if you have hooded eyes oh yeah it's kind of on your scalp kind of protruding out a little more it's easier to get in here from here it's a really deep inner corner so i like to use smaller brushes there so it can get in so first i use bigger one and then i'm going to emphasize it the smaller so this is a blending brush pretty much a grease brush and i'm going between these two colors one green and oh, the matte the other green <sighs> this one falls out a lot too but again this side came out okay and i don't seem to have much trouble I did have to use sponge technique on the side. Got a little, little bit of black under my eye. But oh well. Alright, again, blends out very easy. So the purple and the green don't blend together that well. If you don't know, uh, I mean, the color wheel, you look at the color wheel. The purple is here, and the green is almost the opposite. Well, the green is opposite of red, right? The opposite of purple is yellow. So purple and yellow cancel each other out. So if you put purple and yellow together or gold, you're going to get brown. Or oh, like a grayish kind of dirt color. Uh, so if you do the purple and the green, it's almost the same thing. They give you kind of like not a very attractive color. So you have to be careful how much green you use and what tone of the green you use. <sighs> this blend together, okay? I didn't get that much uh, problem with them. Okay, so I did a little bit of sweeping off camera. I swept uh, off some of the fallout. And I think I'm getting a little like mm, shades here. So I'm starting to regret my decision not to do my face uh, after. Mm, oh well, I'll fix it later. <laughs> So that's the small tiny pencil brush and this is one for highlighting the brow bone. Now you got options here. You can highlight with this, with this, with this, with this, with this. Depending on the skin tone. I like a really light highlight so I'll go with white. And this is a small enough brush so it's not going to get uh, overwhelmingly huge. And I'll do a little bit of inner corner. I got some jewels here, of course. So uh, the jewels kind of a highlight on their own, but I'll add this. Might as well. If you spray this brush, by the way, it's going to be more blinding. So you might want to use a little spray and see how much more I can get out of it. Yeah, it definitely gets a little more blinding with the spray. Okay, so here's the easy part. So normally if I wanted clean, clean, clean uh, canvas for the cut grease, I would wipe it off with a micellar water and a little Q-tip and then apply the shimmer. But today we're going into the kind of the same uh, color family, green and green and purple and purple. So the shimmer is almost the same color that, as matte. So we're going to do fake cut grease, a messy one without wiping anything off and it's real quick too so I'm gonna take a little bit of a ABH base on the palm of my hand on top of my hand and I'll use my flat brush and I'm gonna map out so if you're a newbie in this you might not know this trick but this trick is old if you have hooded eyes especially you want to open it up and then you'll see where it reads land so the trick here especially for the hooded eyes to apply it close to your eyelash band and see when they open the eyes where the primer lands so look up and see where it imprinted for me it did not imprint anywhere because my eyes are deep so that just doesn't happen I can open my eyes all one so now I'm, I'm looking ahead for myself to make my crease a little bigger so where I see the crease is here so I'm gonna draw it a little higher I'm just gonna go higher is that keep my eyes open just keep your eyes open and draw a new crease so see now I got the new line so 
So then I can go a little neater and fix it, make it nicer. I like to smudge it with my finger. I mean, you can use sponge, you can use brush, but I think skin on skin is the best method. Unless I have nails and I'm screwed. I need to put the nails back on because this is obscene. That's awful. So again, this is my tip to make the line between shimmer and matte a little more blended and not make a harsh line. Because once you apply the primer, uh, where you have matte, if you create that harsh line, it'll be really difficult to blend and make it nice and smooth after you already created that line. So use your brush and use your finger, use your sponge, use anything to smudge it out. Make it smudged before you start applying shimmer. So you now have blurred ends. So it's already a little bit of mix together, the matte and the primer. So now we've got easy, easy time applying the shimmer. So I created this thick cut crease. So now we're taking a flat brush that the Morphe one I made. It's good for picking up shimmers. I'm going with this two, as I said in the beginning. This one and this one. Gotta mix them together. And they're both very, very bright. I love green. I always say my fa favorite is purple, but I do love green. <laughs> I'm just talking to Teresa mostly. Because my friend Teresa is obsessed with green. She's Irish, so I mean, really, she has to, right? She's like a stereotypical Irish. <laughs> and I like green, and I like the purple and the pink. I think purple and pink my favorite. And then blue and green. There's something about this combo, purple and green, make me happy. So you see, now we got this fake cut crease. I didn't clean anything before I applied the primer right about over the eyeshadow and because the eyeshadow is the same color as shimmer, you can get away with it. Now if you want to create a blank canvas with like an opposite uh, eyeshadow white, yeah, you want to clean it before. So I'm leaving a little space here and I'm going to clean up the brush and the color switch and now we're going to dip into the purple and blue. So starting with a blue here and then a little bit of deeper purple, just a little bit to create a little kind of an ombre effect. I'm going to blue right over the green to blend it together. Oh, this blue is so beautiful, so foil. And yeah, now deep purple. I'm digging the same brush, by the way. So now that you did this, you can take the matte, matte purple and in between here so you want to really have nice smooth even blend all right so that's where I did some blending I use this big huge brush just to blend out the highlighter and the other shade because almost forgot to do that and I saw the line I'm like <gasps> so this is that that smaller brush I was talking about the one is good to get into the small spaces so if I want to emphasize the green and like the matte green looks a little blah to me, I use a little more. I take it on a small brush and make the color a little more intense. So there it goes. So now you see a little bit of sharper line. So now I'm using a flat-ish brush, the one I was talking about, the JK Sin brush. So this is the one I'm going to use for the low lash line. So it's fluffy enough, but it's flat enough, so it's not going to go all over. And my uh, under eye looks atrocious right now. I might have to fix it, like really fix it, because I regret my life decisions right now. <laughs> so I'm going to use the same deep purple that I used uh, in the beginning and just smudge it out. This is the easiest part. Sometimes I use different colors to blend it out and sometimes I want this line a little more tight so it's not going all over the place so you see how pretty that is it's really really pretty so the original look that I did didn't have this blue eyeliner here I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do I just wanted to go a little extra for today because I'm just feeling extra 
like surprise <laughs> so to go into lighter and lighter purple and just kind of blend it out a little bit more I'm just kind of emphasizing black a little more just to make it stand out so it's all blended so now I'm doing the waterline and for the waterline I like to use a cream gel, gel liner I love this liner from Colourpop and I still have some base here by the way I need to get a paper towel <laughs> anyway there it is so this is a good water, waterline color that's exactly what I used in my Instagram page for this look in that video for my palette collection guess what I just did off camera I wiped off all my under eyes concealer and I used micellar water to clean it off and then I used new layer of concealer I mean I cleaned everything I touched it up pretty much with a spot cleaning and blended I mean you can see a little lighter area but it's like I still need to do highlighter so it's gonna all blend don't worry about it like Peter Moss says don't even worry about it so now we're going with the cake lighters liners I guess you call them cake lighters this is a crop top and this is paint spandex I could just use this because it kind of comes out green if you apply it over the green shadow but I want it really stand out so I'm gonna kind of tap the brush in between the two and we're gonna create this uh, bright bright neon light pick some up on the water tap between the two colors and this is the one that requires not breathing Okay, the eyeliner usually I do this off camera because I mean it's just time consuming I might speed it up but since I just wanted to show you because I never show you so this is Flix eyeliner by XX Revolution I think this is a real great buy this one has a real great tip it's a felt tip and it's very very pigmented it never dries I mean it's very sharp it's very thin it goes like butter I mean it's a great great buy I highly recommend this one so to create the, a wing liner I mean the bottom line we have so much depth you can't really see your wing liner so you can actually F it up a little bit and it's still gonna be okay but what I like to do is kind of place it instead of going like this place it flat and it's gonna kind of draw the wing for you already so I put it here right and just kind of put it flat see against so it already draws the line easily by itself so it's pretty much is there already so now all I have to do I rest my hand on my cheek and I continue to draw right and go to the other corner again resting my hand on my cheek so this is where you can actually kind of evaluate and see where you have to fix certain things like where you one eye is bigger than the other like really my left eye is small and my right eye like naturally I'm like very asymmetrical so I always try to draw my left liner a little thicker to make that bigger draw it out a little bigger and usually it works but you know so now you can kind of see what happened to the left eye and what's happening to the right eye Also, I like to kind of um, go in on a little lash line just a little bit to make that uh, outer corner thicker and bigger and make the eye look bigger. Uh, some looks you can get away with a regular eyeliner. Some looks I like to go in a little bit like here. So this is good for now. Uh, I will go over it a little, little more later. Usually when I apply the eyelashes, I like to go over just like into the band to fix anything that's kind of not blending so so now it doesn't really matter what you did so now i'm using the blue uh this is a new liner i have not used yet first time today so this is uv neon liner and this is for fusion cosmetics bright lights i got a couple of these for my friends they should be receiving this in the mail so <laughs> so first time using very bright very nice actually you kind of like slightly see it but not really because it's above the black but you can straight on you can see the white black blue <laughs> blue here and there 
So the first time around, it didn't do that. So this time I wanted to do something extra. So I like the tip applicator, it's really skinny, real small. So kind of went in, not all the way in, but like three quarters in. So it's that real thing here. It's a little runny, so you have to kind of be careful. But I can always fix it with a black liner on top to make it neater. So I went over the black line because the lashes go in there, so it's not gonna matter. So that's it, the blue. So apparently it went over the, the black, of course, but the eyelashes kind of gonna uh, destroy the black liner anyway. So I'm gonna put the lashes, the mascara, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of black liner over the band to fix the look of the band, and it's gonna uh, fix the blue and the black together a little better. And then I'm gonna evaluate the situation. All right, I think I need to stop screwing with this. <laughs> so let me do the lashes and mascara and I'll be back for the finish touches. Okay, it's time to bejewel me. I did fix the liner a little bit. It's hard to see after I apply the lashes. It's kind of like, oh, where is it? But uh, I did apply a little black over the top of the lash line, the fake eyelash. And then I fix the blue a little bit, so now we've got this pulled up look. So, the jewels, nail art from Amazon. You can uh, search for nail art on Amazon, there are a lot of them, a lot, they're all the same. So these are all multiple colors, so apparently I chose, of course, I chose the, uh, the lime green ones. So I use different methods, sometimes I put a dot with the eyelash glue where I wanted to put it and then I place it over. Sometimes I uh, drag a little line on my hand and I dip the jewel into it. So it just depends. I've kind of been feeling this method lately. And I put a little on my hand and then I pick up a jewel with the tweezers. With the tweezer method, method you have to be careful because once the glue gets attached to the tweezers, the jewels get attached to the glue uh, to the tweezers rather than the eye, you know what happens. So one goes here in the inner corner. Oh, there you go. So I got three and three, so kind of like balance it out. It really is simple. I'm trying to match both eyes. So one, two. I'm gonna do the rest off camera because it's just very tedious and I'll be back. Yeah, the look is officially finished. I added this highlighter. This is I Heart Revolution Goddess of Love, triple baked. It's real nice. Most of the makeup that I use is Revolution and XX Revolution on my face. I'm going to try to memorize everything they did. I'll try to list them in the description box if I remember everything correctly, but I'm pretty sure most of it is uh, either XX Revolution or Revolution Beauty. My favorite brand. And even the spray. Even the spray is revolution. The XX revolution, the glow fix, has a little glitter in it, so it covers you with glitter specks everywhere. Now wait for it, my husband says, it smells like wet dog. <laughs> if you know what wet dog smells like, he hates it. We both hate the smell. I think I sm it smells like rotten garbage. He says it smells like wet dog, which I think is less offensive than rotten garbage. But anyway, I like the spray, except for the smell. <laughs> Let me zoom in. Okay, so I think the eyes came out just a little different, just a little bit. And how they're different, of course, is because I did one completely by itself, and then the other one. It's nearly impossible to make them match if you do them at the, uh, not at the same time, but I'm still happy with it. So yeah, I like this look. I like the green and the purple. I think uh, the combination is very flattering and this kind of look can be flattering on any eye shape pretty much you know the cut grease uh, the fake cut grease like this looks good with the hooded eyes as well and the blue added extra pop you know the blue uh, perfusion liner and the waterline so yeah and my eye contacts are from soft lens queen has a website and they're called Chanel Blue by brand Sweetie Plus. I'm going to link them down in the description box because somebody asked me about my contacts and this is one of my uh, bright 
very colorful pairs. They're slightly enlarging and they have a limbal ring. They make eye, uh, irises actually look a little bigger. I like them, so that's a look. Mm, with the lipstick. Ooh, girl. So this is the end of this video, my tutorial of XX Re Revolution Extravaganza Eleganza, I always said that, Extravaganza palette and that's purple and green, beautiful palette. I have a review on my channel, I'm going to link it up here so you can see the full review with the swatches, the whole bit, 66 shades, 28 pounds, 32 dollars very very much worth it the shipping to us is extremely fast i just made another order in revolution beauty of some new makeup and i can't wait to review and i know it's gonna be here in a few days because they're awesome i love revolution beauty so yeah that's the final look and this is for a few of my subscribers who asked for it and yes i love doing this look because second time around i think i like with the jewels even a little more so let me know what you guys think uh, leave me comments uh, I love talking to y'all uh, my subscribers have been growing uh, at the time that I'm filming it it says I have 1.101 K which is like amazing I haven't seen that much growth on my channel uh, like ever I think something's going on with YouTube SEO and it's working in my favor right now. I'm really, really thankful. I'm thank you for all of you who subscribed and all of you who still watch, even though my videos sometimes are real long and I get so much into detail. So if you like the detail, if you like to see how I create it, then it's for you. Or if you get bored, you can fast forward or put me on mute and go cook dinner. <laughs> So let me know what you think, leave me a comment, let's talk, uh, ask me anything, I'll let you know. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, it'll help me. Uh, let's be uh, friends, let's talk, I love conversation. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I'm about to change the time I upload because I think something's going on and my upload time wasn't ideal. So I'm going to start uploading at weird time but good for some people and bad for some others, so I'm not sure. So it's gonna be three times a week, but the time I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video, and thank you for watching. Bye.